Since the start of my Mega Constructs journey, something has always been missing. I've built so many dioramas over my years, but they've always been lacking in like the subtle details. Because if we're honest, Mega Constructs Halo does not do a good job with providing us with scenery pieces, base plates, any kind of terrain. Like it's just vehicles and figures. Today, things are about to change for the better, my friends, with Mega Constructs Inventions. Three beautiful little boxes packed full of Mega Constructs diorama pieces, display terrain, plants, animals, you name it. These sets have everything we need, guys. I am so excited to show you these today. There are three of them in the set and you will never make dioramas the same again. So Mega Constructs Inventions, they've released these three sets. Bring your ideas to life. They have suggestions on what you can build on the back. We're just gonna unbox these. I'm gonna show you exactly what they have in store for us and then I'll show you the oh God. wow that exploded out goodness me I'm gonna show you exactly what is in these sets and then I'm gonna show you highlights from a live stream I did the same day I recorded this as to what we could build with it like just how useful these sets are I'm gonna show you in practice so all three of these packets, they tell you exactly what you can build basically to utilize the product to its full potential. So I guess we'll start with this jungle pack because we're already here. This is the tropical booster pack. And after we've finished all three, I'll show you one more ideal diorama piece bag thing. It's It's got so many ideas with it. And really Mega Constructs is just going in the right direction with all of this. They've needed to make this, this transition for so long like, you know me, guys, I praise the ground Mega Constructs walks on or builds on, but they have been lacking very much in the uh, the diorama, the display piece department. My dioramas, you know, they've been good, but they haven't, they, they've, they've been a bit hollow, you know? They've lacked that subtle detail. So, this is the start of our journey, a palm tree. This looks fantastic. Uh, I really like the way these are designed. They only go in one way. They've got a real 3D element to them. They don't feel like they're just one piece. We're gonna insert this in and build up, I guess, a little bit of rock. I'm not exactly sure what this is meant to be yet. I like with the instruction manuals, you know, a lot of the time, I don't like to look ahead. I feel like that's <laughs> almost spoilers. I just like to see where the build takes me. And this is taking me in a really cool direction. We've got the top of this palm tree. You may notice, guys, I have used these palm trees in the past. I built a Halo 5 Guardians diorama, but this time I really just wanted to show you guys exactly what this, uh, this set offers. Look at this little spring device. It's a little weird that it's orange, but it lets the palm tree or the plant sort of sway in the breeze, I like that. So you get these little stems and you're allowed to just put whatever flowers in you want. I'm gonna sort of uh, multicolor them and that pops into the ground. Very nice. I mean, look at that. Automatically, any diorama that I have with these things on it, it's just gonna be so much better. The opening of Halo 3, where Sierra 117 is recovered by Johnson and his team, I thought the jungle would be perfect for that. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. And then we've got these vines, and these vines might be my favorite part of the set. They're so nice and flexible, and we can insert them into the bases here. Look at how much life, how much life is crammed into one base plate automatically. Like, that's so sweet. That's just so cool. I love it. I love it. So they've actually, yeah, they've layered this foliage on top. I always used to like to do that. Just put three different kinds of green on, and you've got like a really dense piece of foliage. And I think that's probably going to be it. Do they suggest anything else? No. Okay. So that is the base design that Mega Constructs suggests, but you can see we've got so much more here. If we just sort of crowd it all on, there is so much. Like, really, really nice. If you're a fan of my channel, you know that this has been a struggle of mine for many years, and they've clearly said, hey, don't you worry about it. Here's all the uh, all the pieces you need. That is about all I'm gonna cram onto this one. That is a lot already. All right, so that is crammed full of life absolutely like as crammed full of life as possible. That is really nice, really nice. All right, so that is number one. We got the jungle. Let's get the next one out. We've got the ocean. 
There we go. Where's our ocean instruction manual? You know, it is just funny because like I've had different jungle pieces before, but ocean terrain, I've never had anything from the ocean. Like it's crazy. It's cool to see. It's just such a bizarre thing, but also makes total sense. I don't know how many people will use it for dioramas because I don't even know how many people have ocean base plates, but it's just, it's so cool. Totally in support of Mega like going down this direction. And I realized from looking at this instruction manual, I use these pieces completely completely incorrectly when I did my Halo 5 Guardians diorama. We're meant to get these uh, long sort of tubes and then we insert coral into the top. This makes like a little bit of a coral reef. Same sort of three-pronged piece that is used to make the palm tree, but this time it's making some corally boys. That's seriously cool. That's seriously cool. We've got this large tree. I like this. This could be used on land as well. We're definitely a little aquatic in nature, and we'll pop this on the top of this uh, little little reef, I guess. Little volcanic reef, I would say. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's an active sort of spout underneath them feeding all these lovely toxic nutrients that are making all these coral reefs grow. <laughs> All right, we pop this on one side and then we can sort of wrap this around. I don't know what this is meant to be. I don't even know if Mega Constructs knows what this is meant to be, but it's here. It's here to stay. It's it's cool. Yeah, so this is also the really dope part of this. We have a crab, a shell, and a starfish. Really nice accessories to get with your ocean set. I would be on board with getting any kind of animals in Mega Constructs, to be honest. This is pretty much all Mega Constructs tells you to do with this set. Nice and simple, but there are a lot more pieces, even better pieces than some of the ones I've used. So I'll budge this crab to the top, cram these full as much as possible. And then this is also a really interesting piece. I believe this is probably glow in the dark. I would really hope it is. Chill in here. Ah, oh, it's so great. That is so much life in one little diorama. Like a little micro ecosystem, really. We got a little ecosystem going here. Yeah, that is crammed to the brim with life. With absolute life. Life in abundance, says David Attenborough. There we are. That's two out of three, baby. Let's see if we've got a third. It's time for the military pack. And we know the star of the show is going to be this barbed wire. Really excited to get more of this. Loads of sandbags as well. I'm sure the sandbags will take center stage. Yes, they are the first step. All right, let's layer these on. Military is most definitely the thing that I've got the most of. Duh, I collect Halo. But there are still some really nice pieces in this that I wanted to get my hands on. This parcel was sent to me by Bam Bam Productions, and it is yet another one of the things that I unbox in a haul video that has still not come out yet. It's ridiculous. It's a haul video that I've, like, reviewed half of the stuff that was even in the haul video. But it's not come out yet because I'm waiting on filming the intro to the video. This bottom piece doesn't actually connect to the base plate. It's just hanging there. It's, it connects via this two piece, but I'm sure it'll become really stable once I get that last four piece on. I like that the single brown blocks on either side that locks it off nicely. And I mean, of course, if we're, if we've got a military diorama, we're going to build a nice wall. And then we've also got a cannon. We need a cannon, boys. I'm always a fan of a good cannon in my mega constructs. And this one looks uh, pretty interesting. There we go. These ammunition belts feed into the back. There's a missile that goes in the front. That's a pretty sick rocket. I'm just trying to figure out how these ammunition belts are meant to hold together. It shows that they don't at all. There we go. Hack job, but we got away with it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, aside from all of the spare pieces, the three diorama packs that will change your life. Don't want to be dramatic, but they are really, really useful. To sort of add that extra dimension to your dioramas, you know, that extra vibrance, extra character. A lot of my dioramas, they start off good, but they end up a little bit hollow. It's odd though, it doesn't show any way of these two clips connecting at the back, so it looks like they're just flailing there. We'll clip this in, we'll see if we'll have any spare pieces at the end for that. That overlaps there, and on the bottom, we make two of those, and that's, ah, that's the, that's for the barbed wire, is it? Okay, but there we go. We've got a very, very flexible barbed wire. Oh, that barbed wire actually, oh, it just, it, it just freestands. Interesting. Interesting. Then we've got a rocket to build, which that is actually really cool. No more. I've got three packs of each of these and my dioramas are about to explode to life. That is not all from the things that I've acquired recently. There is one more thing I want to show you today. This is another Mega Constructs Inventions product and this is another just, it, it's just built for dioramas, guys. It comes with five different ideas, which you can can utilize on the Mega Constructs Unboxed website, but this, oh boy, oh boy, look at this. 
if you want proper military green, I mean, I love the metallic green in Halo Mega Constructs, but it's not military green. This shows you how to make a battleship and there are so many more ideas. Basically, it's just everything you need to make dioramas with. It's just the basic pieces, right? Like it's just proper military green, desert, nice brick walling. It's just, it's really nice. Even dark brown dirt. It's just nice military green and a lighter green, dark and light brown for your dirt. And then even walling, like nice speckled wall pieces. It's just perfect. I'm not gonna build anything with this right now, but you can check the results of what I use this for on my latest diorama. Check that out, link in the description below. And Mega Constructs Inventions, it's the way forward, guys. I'm so impressed by the creativity that they can pack into just a small jungle, oceanic, or military pack. If I was to choose one for my dioramas, it would definitely be the jungle pack, the vines, the grass, the flowers, the palm tree, but also the oceanic pack is really fun as well and comes with some cute sea creatures. So thank you very much for tuning in today guys this was another video with the domain hope you enjoyed yourself and thank you very much for the support as always you stay awesome you stay safe out there drop this video a like if you did enjoy what you see and we'll see you next time the domain is signing off